Hey everyone, it's Brian here. Today I'm coming on to do a tutorial for a Memdex card that is inspired by Poochie Tats here on YouTube um, and on Instagram. And she is currently doing this challenge on Instagram. It's called the hashtag Poochie Made Me Recreate It Challenge. And I'm going to leave all the information that you need on that below this video if you want to join. Because there's still a couple days to join this one. I believe last day is Friday, which is tomorrow or Saturday, 22nd of May. And I hope you can join. You know, I'm sorry I'm doing this so late. But, you know, I was hard pressed to find a project that, you know, Poochie has done that that I think she would really like for me so you know you don't have to send her anything it's just one of those things you can recreate something post on Instagram or if you want some extra points you can post on YouTube as well as a VR so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be making a Memdex card Poochie style so first thing I want to do is grab my, uh, my trimmer I'm just going to use a Cricut trimmer, make things easy and quick. Uh, probably just cut it off to about here. I think that should do the trick. I'm going to need two of these. I'm going to make this a pretty thick Minvex card here. Well, I actually may not need to do two of these, but I'm going to need several um, cut out of the cardstock, though. So I'm going to go ahead to the side here real quick and trim that out. Big shot does not come apart on me. Okay, let's see here. I use that Allen wrench sometimes on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this one, I think, for now. Um, I may make another one for the back pocket in just a moment. But first I want to go ahead and cut this ticket out. Out of the chipboard. So I have an idea with this that I hope will work. Uh-oh, I went the wrong way with that. Big time. We're just going to redo that. I totally put that on upside down. that piece out. Got the next one. I'm going to try to cut out one more of these just in case I want it for the pocket.
and I'll show you in just a minute what I'm going to be doing with these ticket dies when I cut them out. I think you'll probably find it very interesting what I'm going to do with these. But I'm going to make a little something out of these. So I'll get these lined up as straight and as nice as I can. Now I'm going to go ahead and roll this through the die machine. That doesn't look too good, in my opinion, but... <clears throat> I may not do that after all. I was going to try to make a little shaker out of that. I may still do that, though. I think I'm probably going to. Sorry, if you can't hear me that well, it's like 2 in the morning when I'm working on this project here now. So I'm just trying to keep quiet for the dogs. Gonna go ahead and get some more washi here and tape this up again. Because I need two layers of this. see if this does any better if not I may just have to stop that part of the project and think of something else hmm. believe it or not that matches up pretty well I think I'm just going to do that now Okay, so now I'm going to need a little bit of cardstock here. So I'm going to try to find the some here. do it hopefully I'm trying to make this really nice and thick so it can stand up to lots of use so I'm gonna try to build it up a good bit as well I think this is going to work just fine. Yes, 
it's gonna. So before I go any further, I want to show you a little something I'm gonna do here. Actually, I do need to do one more thing first. I need to cut out the, the big ticket die again. And this is going to be a pretty cool shaker I'm making out of this one. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out like so. And this is going to go on the bottom here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some glue. I'm going to go ahead now and we'll first unclog this. You would have thought by now we'll have learned how to unclog the, the glue before I start a project. Apparently I don't learn from my own lessons, so there you go. Wasting time here apparently. too much. Way, way too much. Oops. And then that just happened. So I'm going to put this down like so. y'all if you want to join this challenge and you're on instagram please do just go ahead and subscribe to poochie chats here on youtube and also sub oh, not subscribe but follow her on instagram she's still got the same name poochie tats uh, like i said before i'll link all that information down below this video and what i'm going to do next here is i'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff on this right here. I'm about to make a shaker out of this. Some of y'all may have seen this be done before, some of y'all may not have, but I'm not going to use plastic or acetate or anything like that for this shaker. So just prepare to be amazed. Okay, let me think here. Hmm. I'll put some on this side too. I was out of frame again.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, go ahead and get the secret ingredient, which is some tool. Yes. I'm going to make a shaker with tool instead of acetate. You all must think I'm crazy, but I'm not. go ahead and take the backing off all this I'm going to put this right on top should do this way instead. There will be some of this um, stuff showing, unfortunately. You know, the, the mounting tape, but I think it'll be all right. So I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to trim off the excess. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this on here, glue this on, and after I'm done with this part, I'm going to start working on the Mimbex. As far as I'm concerned, Mandex card is a poochy idea, yes, the way I'm going to do this, but this shaker is truly poochy, in my opinion. I have not seen anybody do this as well as Poochie has. So basically, I got the tool sandwiched between these two pieces of chipboard that I had used the um, mounting tape on. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this over. Go ahead and put a few of these little beads or whatever sequins in there. Not too few, but not too many. I probably put way too many in there, honestly. Because it sure looks like I did. And now I'm going to go ahead and. Very carefully take off the backing off this mounting tape. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this down like so. We have a successful shaker here.
This is what I call a poochie style shaker, y'all. But we're not just gonna stop here. We're gonna make that Memdex card. And it's gonna be a travel theme. So I think this ticket die was a pretty good start for that. Can't get enough of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and trim off the top part of this um, die, die, the die cut. Now I'm going to get some more, um, I'm going to get some cardstock. Cut this out a couple more times. Layer one, or sorry, side one. Another one. I'm gonna try to find one more piece of another color that I can use for the pocket. I think I found a good one here, a yellow one. Basically, this is pretty straightforward. Um, tutorial here on how to make a Memdex card with the die. If you don't have a Memdex card die, do not worry because you can still make one of these. Um, I have at least one or two um, tutorials on how to make a Memdex card with no dies. All you need is like cardstock, paper trimmer, scoreboard, and a one hole punch. And I'll try to remember to link one or all of those videos if I can find them down below this video as well. Here's my Cricut scraper. Choose that off of there. this off go ahead and glue this down onto the chipboard
also going to do the same thing with this. I do plan on going back to bed when this is done. It's going to upload to YouTube and just rest. Hopefully it will upload on time. Some of my videos recently have not been uploading well. I hope this is not the case with this one. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and put this on here like so. Put some double-sided tape. In fact, I may use that mounting tape on this time. It's already thick enough. I might as well. out of view again. And this way you can store some if you want to store more than just some Memdex card or ATC card in here. You could you can store some a little more significantly sized What I'm going to do now is take this backing off and see what we got. This is going to take some definite extra postage if you choose to send this in the mail. This might be like bubble wrap mailer worthy. I mean, at the very least, bubble wrap mailer worthy. You may just want to put this like in a... I don't know those boxes or something if you're saying like a big old package that might be an idea
And as you can see here, I didn't quite glue well enough there, but you got a nice little space there to put your information and all that. And then go ahead and trim some of this mounting tape off, off the edges here. And now what we're going to do is start putting stuff together on here. So first I want to put my creation on here, which is the tool shaker. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I should just put the mounting tape on it and be done with it. Since everything's so thick already anyways. Might as well just make it thicker. That's what I'm going to do. that on there like so, a little angle. Put a couple of these on there. There go the dogs barking in their sleep, if you can hear them. Got two of these on top of each other and everything's layered with uh, mounting tape. Try find maybe a chipboard sticker or something on here as well. Oh, I found a good one. If I can get to it. Find one more. Hmm. I'll put one of these chipboard arrows up here on the back so you know where to put your uh, info at. Try to find some more die cuts real quick. I've seen them. 
Oh, here they are. Nope, that's stamps. I'm not finding my die cuts anywhere. Hmm. I could. Do you like that? Yeah, I like that idea. I really do. I'm about to be done in just a moment. Really wanted to find those die cuts. Put some more on there. I don't know where I left. Oh, I found them. See if we can find anything else here. Am I interested? In layering thing again with the passport. Let's see how this would look. this like this so I'm gonna call this is basically a super chunky memdex card and I know it looks like you know a kid may have done it but this is really my first attempt at a tool shaker now I think it came out good for a first attempt for a person who's never made one before so I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all do try to recreate some Poochie made today. And I'm going to let y'all go for now. Talk to y'all later. Bye.